Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. Students, in this video, we are going to see a super trick to find out oxidizing power, reducing power, strong oxidizing agent and strong reducing agent. So students, there is only one trick. So if you remember that trick, you can solve this four types of questions. So in electrochemistry, in NEET examination as well as JEE examination, you can see this type of questions will be given. What is the first type of question which will come is, find which is the, which is having strong oxidizing power. So they can ask about oxidizing power. So some four uh, metals will be given. You have to find the order of oxidizing power, increasing order or decreasing order. And second, reducing power they can ask. Reducing power. And third is, they can ask, find which is strong oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent. And fourth is strong reducing agent. Strong reducing agent. So this four types of questions will appear in NEET examination as well as JEE examination. So students for you E0 value will be given. So what is E0 value? E0 value is strong uh, cell potential. S sorry standard standard cell potential so for you cell potential standard cell potential will be given and based on this value so based on this value you have to based on e naught value you have to find all this four so i'll tell you one simple trick using that you will be able to find out or solve all this four questions so write down this trick so what is the trick now observe carefully the trick is higher the value higher e naught value i am talking about higher the value it will be strong oxidizing agent strong oxidizing agent and it will have high oxidizing power oxidizing power so oxidizing power also will be more strong oxidizing agent and oxidizing power will be more when if e naught value is higher smaller the e naught value smaller the e naught value then it will be strong reducing agent reducing agent smaller the e naught value it will be strong reducing agent and it will be having high reducing power reducing power understood smaller the e naught value so I will give you some examples so that you can understand clearly. So this is one trick you have to remember. So based on E0 value, we are going to find out all this four. That is oxidizing power, reducing power, strong oxidizing agent, then strong reducing agent. So this is the question now. See here. So here the first question is find strong oxidizing agent. So here you have to find which is the strong oxidizing agent. For fluorine, E0 value, these are the E0 value. So E0 value for fluorine is 2.87. This is plus 2.87. Chlorine plus 1.36. Bromine plus 1.09. Iodine plus 0.54. So find strong oxidizing agent. What is the trick students? Strong oxidizing agent means higher should be the E0 value. So you see which is having bigger value, E0 E0 value. So 2.87, 1.36, 1.09, 0.54. 0 so which is bigger value plus 2.87. So this is the bigger value. Therefore, fluorine will be 
strong oxidizing agent strong oxidizing agent and its power also oxidizing power also will be higher so second question hydrogen peroxide h2o2 value given as 1.78 e not value and then mno4 minus again e not value is given as 1.51 and potassium dichromate k2cr2o7 the value is 1.33 so now you have to find which is the strong oxidizing agent so students in the reaction we will be using all this oxidizing agent so you should know the power as well so here the strong oxidizing agent will be h2o2 why because e not value is higher plus 1.78 therefore h2o2 will be the strong oxidizing agent so understood how to find strong oxidizing agent so we will take some more examples so that you can understand clearly so students this is the first question we are going to solve so this appeared in 2019 so what is the question here the standard electrode potential that is e not value of al 3 plus 2 al then ag silver plus 2 silver so let let me write down the reaction here <clears throat> so here aluminium al 3 plus 2 aluminium e not value is given as see here for aluminium e not value is given as minus 1.66 minus 1.66 old and then ag plus 2 ag the value given is plus 0.80 old then k plus potassium k plus 2k it is given as minus 2.93 old and next is chromium cr3 plus 2 cr it is given as minus 0.74 old minus 0.74 old these are the four values given e not value what you need to find out the decreasing order of reducing power you have to find reducing power of the metal is so four options are given here so what is the trick students to find out reducing power so trick is smaller the value so see the trick here smaller the value it will be strong reducing agent so first here on the scale note down all these values suppose if this is the scale if i take this as the scale on the scale i'll represent first zero value plus value so here plus 0.80 volt will come first and then minus value so here minus 0.74 minus 0.74 next value will be minus 1.66 and then next value will be minus 2.93 so this is the scale students if you take the scale zero and this side positive values and one side negative values will be there so here smaller the value it will be more strong reducing agent which is smaller value here minus 2.93 will be the smallest value smallest value so this will be the strong reducing agent and it will be having reducing power more so 2. minus 2.93 minus 2.93 is for potassium so check in the option where potassium is there in the first because it is the strong reducing agent it is having more reducing power so see here rule out the options potassium is present here potassium is present here so out of this two one will be the answer so this two you can rule out so out of this two we have to check so next we will find out which is the uh, weakest reducing agent so this will be the weakest reducing agent plus 0.80 so 0.80 that is ag silver so silver just find out where is silver see in this two silver is present here so you will, we can directly choose this is the correct answer because potassium will be having strong reducing power and silver will be having less reducing power so this will be the correct option so we can eliminate the options and easily quickly we can find out the option so i hope you understood this we'll go and do the second question now 